Hi everyone, my name is Bayou Panda. I'm a PhD candidate at the College of Design at NC State University. Um, I'm going to be talking about multiple surfaces for tangible sketching in VR today. So the motivation behind this project was the lack of any tangible feedback of sketching in VR in the air. However, unlike VR in the physical world, when you sketch uh, on objects, you can touch them and you can feel the object. So that's what I was thinking, how can we bring that sensation into VR? Now, Passport has explored various interaction techniques like visual guides, vibrotactile force feedback, and physical surfaces like plane surfaces and haptic boxes. Now, while plane surfaces provide haptic feedback, tactile feedback, they do not allow the user to draw, on, to draw curves. Um, while haptic proxies do uh, provide high accuracy with curves, um, the same haptic proxy cannot be used on multiple virtual objects, and it's not scalable. So we wanted to explore a solution for a morphable surface that could serve as a bridge, sort of, between plane, and hap plane surfaces and haptic proxies. We did several material and structural explorations, and the first material we explored was foam. Um, we created four different structures for it. Um, however, our takeaway immediately, almost immediately, was that foam was too soft of a material for our needs. And so we switched our, we turned our eyes to PTG, which is a 3D printing filament. We had much better luck with PTG and bringing in the knowledge that we gained from the structural explorations with the foam prototypes. Um, we finalized the design for the morphable surface with PTG. Now, with the morphable surface in hand, we still had to decide how to use the morphable surface um, with VR. And we decided to use uh, the Oculus Quest uh, VR device, and we created accessories for Oculus Quest that allows the user to attach the morphable surface to the non-dominant hand while converting the dominant hand controller into a pen. So the Morphosis ecosystem then consists of the morphable surface, a table mount um, to which the morphable surface can be attached or detached, the pen accessory, and lastly, the Unity 3D VR application. So what kind of affordances does the Morphosis ecosystem provide the user? Well, first and foremost, the user can morph the surface. But in addition to that, the user has two modes of working uh, with Morphosis. The first is the desk mounted mode, where the surface is attached to the desk mount, and the desk mount provides stability that the user can use. Secondly, uh, we have the handheld configuration, where the user can hold the controller in their hand like a journal notebook um, and use the pen to jot, uh, jot down notes or sketches. In both of these cases, the user can attach the virtual object to the physical surface. Now, the intent of our work was not to show a finalized polished prototype, but rather to show the utility of having a morphable surface for sketching in VR. However, our work has several limitations, which points to future work as well. First off, um, looking at ergonomics, our pen accessory uh, had a very uneven weight distribution, and we would like to explore more mechanical designs that distribute the weight more evenly and makes it more comfortable to use. Secondly, hand tracking was pretty hard to do because we were using the Oculus Quest controller to track the location of the morphable surface. However, Quest does not allow the user to use hand tracking along with the um, controller. We could have used something like leap motion, but that was out of the scope for us. Hand tracking could also enable the user to use pre existing writing utensils like a pen, um, which should be much more comfortable than uh, using our pen accessory. Finally, the shape tracking was had to be done manually. There was no automatic um, sync between the virtual shape and the physical shape. In conclusion, we presented our preliminary inspirations into the design and utility of multiple surfaces as a way of adding tangible feedback to the sketching process in VR. Um, we hope that this, um, this preliminary exploration um, uh, will give way to further explorations by the design and border ACI community and spark an interest in exploring the utility and low cost solutions for immersive media. Thank you.